All right, let's talk about something that we face or think about every day, and we're talking about crime under our streets on the subways. According to some new numbers from the NYPD, subway crime is actually on the decline. Now, this is tricky every time we talk about it, so let's take a look at the data. Overall crime was down 5%. That's when compared to the exact same time last year. The biggest change, a nearly 20% decrease, and that's substantial, in robberies. Now, felony assault is also down by about 8%. Grand larceny is the only crime on the rise, and that's up about 4%. I should have looked at the uh, definition of grand larceny so we could all understand what that is better, but that's a serious, more serious crime. Yeah, talking about stolen cell phones and stuff like that, stolen bags. And, 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 you know, police told us here on this show on Mornings at 10, one of the big focuses of the crime crackdown, targeting fare evaders. And police arrested more than 3,300 people for fare evasion, up by 88% compared to last year. Governor Hochul crediting adding more law enforcement into the subway system for some of the decrease in crime. We saw a spike in subway crime in January. We met with the mayor and his team. We said, All right, let's pull together here. He sent in more NYPD. I said, I can bring in resources, transit police, state police, and the National Guard to just be a calming presence, to not be threatening, but just stand there and be there if people need help. This, when I walk the streets of New York, is one of the number one issues that people raise to me unsolicited and thank me. Now, in another crime, this was not just in the subway system, this was above ground as well. Um, this one had New Yorkers on edge. This man that you're looking at now faces multiple charges for allegedly punching people in random attacks. Saboki Stora is facing hate crime, assault charges in at least four incidents, with the most recent one happening in March. He was arrested two days after that attack. Prosecutors say he made anti-female, anti-white, and anti-Semitic statements during some of these attacks.